Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, happy Sunday. I hope everybody's enjoying this gorgeous day today, wherever you are around the world. In L.A., sky is clear. Sun is very, very bright. <laughs> um, and so I just decided to take a little stroll around the neighborhood. Um, so the title of this video is, Are You Spending Enough Time With You? And... Um, you know, if you know me, anybody that knows me, you know that I stress this point to no end, <laughs> the importance of spending time with yourself, being with yourself. And there's a difference between being with yourself and being by yourself. When you are by yourself, you're not really going within, you're not inside of yourself, you're dissociated from the self. And this dissociation helps you to become aware that you feel like you are lonely. Okay? When you are with yourself, you're truly embodying the essence of your alone time and you're appreciating the alone time and you're allowing that alone time to tap into a deeper resource within okay a deeper source of self so those are the two differences between being by yourself and being with yourself and i encourage everyone to spend more time with you with yourself and even if this just means not necessarily meditation because, you know, a lot of people feel like they can't meditate or it's hard for them to meditate and that takes practice. But even if it's just going for a walk for 30 minutes a day with yourself, okay? Um, if that means sitting in a park, going to the beach, taking a long drive, parking your car somewhere and just sitting with yourself in silence or some sort of uplifting music or high vibrational music going okay or some words of you know upliftment playing in the background I recommend spending time with just you you know and with your own mind working through whatever thoughts that come, allowing them to come easily and effortlessly, and then lovingly releasing the thoughts, not judging it and just letting it go. This is how you begin to train yourself and train your brain how to sincerely and authentically be with you and be with yourself. It's very important because you get a lot of clarity when you're with yourself. You get a lot of insights, revelations when you're with yourself. And it's important, especially if you're trying to figure out what your next move is for yourself. If you're trying to figure out, you know, how do I start this business? Or, you know, what direction do I go in and with my relationship with this other person? You can ask as many friends as you want to ask. You can go and get as many tarot card readings as you want to get. You can go talk to your so-called gurus. But the only person who really can answer that question for you is you. And the only way you know that. Hey, Kristen. Yes, honey. I know. Me too. Me too. <laughs> A little too much sometimes. <laughs> I have to force myself to get out and uh, interact and be social. But you want to get to the point where you truly enjoy being with yourself so much that you're like, wow, I, I really need to get out here and go talk to some people and be around people and connect with people. So if you're afraid to be alone, if you feel uncomfortable being un alone, if it scares you, if you don't, if you feel insecure about being alone, that means that you're insecure about being with others. How are you going to form and forge strong bonds and relationships with other people if you don't even have a strong bond or a relationship with yourself. 
if you can't stand being with yourself, you know, in a room alone because it makes you nervous or it makes you afraid or that means that you have to face certain thoughts or parts of yourself and you continue to want to push that away and push that away, you're going to create barriers and obstacles between you and another person. So if you can't have a healthy relationship with you, how do you think you're gonna have a healthy relationship with somebody else? Okay? How do you think you're gonna have a healthy relationship with food? How are you gonna have a healthy relationship? Hey, what's up, Prentice? How are you gonna have a healthy relationship with money? If you can't stand to be in the presence of your own energy, of your own self. You can't stand to be with your own thoughts. You don't know how to process your thoughts. You don't know how to process your emotions, right? In a healthy way. How are you going to manage all of the blessings that you desire or keep asking for? How are you gonna manage that? We have the opportunity to manage our own energy first. We have the opportunity to create and carve out space for ourselves on a daily basis so that we can, thank you, (laughs) uh, so that we can 